Alrighty, guys, welcome. We're sitting down with Miss Carly Nash. How are you? How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing pretty great. Can't complain. So I think you're gonna start us off with a song here, right? I am. So one of the songs that people usually love to hear is a song that I wrote in like ten minutes and had no intention of writing <laughs> uh, about my dad. So it's called Don Wayne. The story then the song pretty much speaks for itself. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. If I usually, I always forget to, which capo, there we go, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Everything sounds funky, though. When you haven't played it in a week. (laughs) (laughs) He's the captain to all his friends. Stiff one's how he got his name He's why we raise hell And praise Dale on Sundays He loves the Lord and it shows But he's a sinner, this he knows He's a one of a kind and his life is what he chose No, there'll never be another like John Wayne or outlaws like Jesse James Clapped down in his sixth string A one name fame I'm proud to have his last name He's a daddy's girl My best friend in the world No, there'll never be another like him on this earth Cause he's my Don Wayne He's why I love rock and roll And Naughty Murphy picture shows He's why I love God's land A football fan He holds his family in his two hands He'll find the time To teach me wrong from right He says I'll be your daddy Till the day I die No, there'll never be another like John Wayne or outlaws like Jesse James clapped down in this sixth string a one name fame I'm proud to have his last name he's a daddy's girl my best friend in the world no there'll never be another like him on this earth cause he is my Don Wayne Teach me wrong from right Says I'll be your daddy Till the day I die Amazing, thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. So, is the... So you're going to have to do a little explaining to me, I guess. So, we got Don Wayne and then we got Carly Nash. So, is the... Yes. So, my dad's name is Don Wayne. Uh-huh. Nash. Oh, okay. All right. Mid- okay. Middle name. Okay. Middle yeah. I didn't know if you had like a like a stage name or what. what, what the deal <laughs> no. Was there? <laughs> nope. Carly Nash is my name. That's awesome. <laughs> and my so, middle name is Don. So. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, there Dad. we go. That's awesome. Is it yeah. D O N or is it D A W? He's D O N. I'm D A W N. Just to make it a little bit more. Yeah. Name. Just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's it's nice to have some. Uh, We've had we've kind of been on a streak of getting female artists on yeah. here recently, and it's it's nice because we come from like having a bunch of guys on, and they're yeah. when they sing they're just like yelling and like crazy, <laughs> yeah. and kind of calms things down yeah, a little bit. Nice. We had we had Caitlin Butts um, last week and Holly Beth, and we just got wrapped up with Caitlin, uh, and then I love now all you. Of so those. I love all of those women. That that's what we like to hear. <laughs> we, we we hope everybody that listens love, love, loves them too. So For sure. so. You mentioned uh, in the song, like, 
Eric Clapton in the six strings. Does your dad play as well? No, he's not musically talented okay. whatsoever. <laughs> okay. um, but he's a farmer, so he's been an attractor uh, for his entire life. So he knows music. Yeah. He's very educated. You can play him any song pretty much that's ever been out there, and he'll tell you what it is. He'll tell you where, when it came out, yeah. who plays it, the title, all of it. Yeah, I, I, I come from a farm background as well, so I was – I've – definitely driven a tractor around the field many times and i think that's where i really started to find an appreciation for music is in a tractor cab just listening to mm -hmm. whatever came on the radio whatever came on uh was it 103.9 is that what the one is back home is? <laughs> i think so yeah, yeah. what 103.9 or whatever i, I didn't is. listen to that one i always listened to 99.7 uh, Really, the uh, the older classic country. Yeah, of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I that's kind of where I and then eventually I was able to like hook up my phone to it whenever I we got a, a newer tractor. But yeah, that's that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, sorry, I, I was, he's, he's, I was he, sitting over here thinking like, are we, who are we talking about today? Her or you? You uh, kept going sorry, on about the sorry. tractors. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We gotta get you a. We gotta get a GoPro, mount it in the tractor, and do like a whole series with Jagger. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if your dad didn't play, what got you into music? I have been singing my whole life. Uh, you hear that from a lot of people, but my background in all this is very diverse. Actually, uh, I s grew up singing in my church. I'm uh, very big into the Catholic uh, church back home. And I sang for, I think it was like 10 years, just every Sunday. Um, and, wh and where is church? back home exactly? Hobart, Oklahoma. Southwest Oklahoma. The Shady 580. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I sang uh, in church and then always just, you know, at home. Grew up on Shania Twain and uh, what's her face? Gretchen Wilson, mm. Leanne Rimes. That's who I grew <clears throat> up on. I sang it pretty much probably every day is what I'm told. And then when I got to like middle school, we had to be like in choir and everything. And my teacher at the time, she convinced me and my parents to have me try out for Allstate. Um, so then I got really big into choir. Hmm. And so I tried out for Allstate and I did that from sixth grade until senior year. Did So I became really big and interested in like classical music and choral music. Which I still love to this day, because yeah. I, when I came here to OSU, I kept doing that. Had a music scholarship, and I didn't have been a major for a while because, I mean, I didn't want to admit that music is what I wanted to be mm -hmm. doing. And when I finally did, I joined the choir. I was also in opera, and musical theater, and just all the, all the singing stuff that you could do. I did it. <laughs> really? And yes, and so I've been involved in that. I mean, you name it, I've done it. Choir opera musical theater now i have my own country music career yeah. so <laughs> do it all well what did you major in while you were at oklahoma state music industry really yes it's it was when it was still brand new very very brand new major i graduated in 2020 i was a super senior for nice. as a music major <laughs> <laughs> that was me i was that kind of student <laughs> Did you ever get a chance to like perform in like the Mc McKnight Center, I think? Many a times. I actually, um, when they were still building it, when it was still basically dirt, they were looking for music students and like music majors to be, because they were doing tours and all this kind of stuff. And they really needed a lot of help building it um, to what it is now. Mm -hmm. And so me and a couple of my music friends were like, hey, we're just like, you get paid, you go on tours. And we also thought it'd be good internship opportunities, which is exactly what it turned out to be. So we did tour, we led tours um, while they were still in construction uh, for donors and all of that mm. stuff. And we talked to the lady that was in charge and we said, hey, you know, if you have any positions, you need interns, we'd be happy to do that. We immediately got hired on as interns, and we helped build that thing from the <laughs> ground up. That's awesome. I'm not even kidding. There would be nowhere if we didn't have they didn't have those two interns in the basement calling people every day. <laughs> that I was had Carly us. out there pouring the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, 
But I actually worked there for a couple years, so I did the touring, and then I was an intern. I stayed an intern for a while, and then I became hey a Hey, guys, we want to tell you a little bit about Dead Wake Archery Innovations. They got all kinds of awesome stuff. They create their very own custom-designed CNC-milled bows, and they do all kinds of uh, crazy colors with the anodization. And uh, you want to tell them a little bit more? Yeah, so it is a Oklahoma State graduate there. They're in Kansas, Oklahoma is where they're established. Uh, they do some great stuff, great killing machines for the water, honestly. <laughs> and uh, just go, go check them out. Thank you so much for Dead Wake Archery Innovation for sponsoring this for podcast. For a while, then I became a floor manager, helping manage the ushers and just hmm. kind of helping out in the front of house, in the ticket office, pretty much anywhere good. I worked there for a while, hmm. not going to lie. And then also being in school, we had many choir concerts there. Um, I got to help with the New York Philharmonic when they came for the very first time. Our That's big cool. opening weekend was very, it was a lot, but it was so much fun. Yeah. I got to hand flowers to Kelly O'Hare on stage, <laughs> icing on top of the cake. I even had my senior recital there in college Really? as well. Yeah. That's awesome. So um, what made you like launch a country music career with all of the, like this opera musical background? What made you want to do? country music career um I've always enjoyed singing it obviously and my parents kind of I think I mean they're my parents they're my best friends they know me better than I know myself obviously as they should um they kind of talked me into it from what I remember they were like we should get you like we should get you a guitar um and so they did one Christmas and I just started playing but what kind of really pushed it over the edge was in the music industry major, major, we started a singer-songwriters guild, and we also had the Music Industry Association, which they still have all those things to this day. Mm -hmm. But it's stuff that we started um, when that major, we finally just like, it was the year we just took it by the reins and just made everything mm -hmm. super serious and said, okay, this is what our goals are, this is what we're gonna do. And we actually did, <laughs> and the director of the major, Dr. Mark Perry, he knew um, the owners of the Iron Monk uh, here in Stillwater, and he wanted to set up a singer-songwriters guild to where just once a month we would have the students who are involved uh, in the association just go in, sing their songs, and just get used to performing in public. Um, and even if it wasn't, you know, playing a guitar than singing, they could go in and just play the piano or just get them used to playing their music or even just covers. And so that's what kind of pushed it through. Because so I started doing that, I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, I can somewhat play the guitar and I can I mean I've been singing I can do that all right in my own opinion <laughs> yeah um and so we we did that and after the first couple ones people were like oh you should play here and you should play here and then a friend of mine worked as a bartender on the strip and said hey we're a new bar and she convinced her manager to have weekly gigs um so that they could bring in new customers and so I just booked a weekly gig I also sang at Funkin' Beers because uh, I knew the band and a lot of my friends were in that band too. And so I just honestly kind of got thrown into it. Just what was, I don't think I intentionally did it. And just what I was surrounding myself with kind of let me, led me in that path. Hey guys, we want to give a huge shout out to our new sponsor, Red Earth Designs. They made all of these new t-shirts you're seeing. You can find those on social media. If you go to our page, Guitars Cowboys Pod, you can click on that, message us, get a shirt, all that good stuff. They also made these awesome cups for us, guys. They do everything from screen printing, uh, vinyl, uh, laser etching. They will probably give and give you a tattoo if you can give them enough time. <laughs> but go, go check out Phil there in Perry. Uh, great shop. Uh, we'll, we'll be looking to go there in, there in the future, give you guys kind of a, a lowdown on their, their background. Thank so. you so much to Red Earth Designs for sponsoring us. Did you teach yourself how to play guitar? Um, Kind of. I just, I mean, I got it. But being a musical person, I mean, I'd already studied, like, theory. I'd been around music my whole life. Like, I know how to read music and all this stuff. But just honestly watching people play guitar for so long, I mean, it was pretty basic, I guess, to me. I just mm -hmm. kind of picked it up and looked up YouTube videos, how to play this, this, and this, and just kind of took it from there. So we've, we've been talking a little bit, and I, I play, but he doesn't – he has no musical – knowledge essentially no, none so Zero. How, what <laughs> would you say and i'm a terrible i have no patience i would be a terrible teacher he would fire me if i was a teacher <laughs> so that's um, why that's exactly why i was not a music education major you don't want me teaching yeah 
your children. So what would you recommend to somebody that wants to get into, uh, even not just him, but other yeah. people out there that want to get into playing an instrument? Like, how, do, how what's the best way to go about learning that? If you're me, I just started off learning songs that I liked. And eventually, I just picked it up, honestly. Um, so you just got to be good, essentially. <laughs> you have to be, no. And you can learn how to do it at all. Actually, I'm right now I'm teaching myself how to play the electric guitar, which is like lessons on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. <laughs> um, it's going to take a while, though. I'm still, it still sounds pretty bad, but it's still fun. But I just started learning like all the songs that I wanted to sing. And eventually, I mean, and, and then when there are songs that you just want to sing, songs are so actually universal and pretty basic. Mm -hmm. I would just suggest start off with what you want to sing <laughs> we, you and should, what you want to play. You should tell her our, uh, your idea that you had. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so <laughs> <The> Unreleased idea. <laughs> unreleased idea. Oh, um, no. We, I was like... Wouldn't it be cool if uh, we had like a video, like a video vlog series where we start a band okay. and our goal is to play the tumbleweed in one year and just follow us <laughs> starting a band? <laughs> and it's like for him, like he already has a little bit of like guitar, so it wouldn't be that hard for him to like play guitar. But mm -hmm. for me to like go from literally nothing to trying to play a gig at like <laughs> one of the bigger venues around Oklahoma, <laughs> it'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's the idea. And, There's uh, always cowbell or a triangle, something simple. And yeah. Reed, Reed played the cowbell the other day. So oh yeah, he did. Yeah, we we went to Born and Raised this weekend and we watched uh, like Reed South Hall. Um, uh, I don't know why I can't. Randy Rogers, Turnpike. Uh, William Clark Green. Yeah, we watched all those guys. Yeah. I wish I would have been there. You you were just so... Uh, so if you graduated in 2020, uh, yeah. like you said... Super senior. Did you start uh, <laughs> college in 2015 then? Yeah. So that's actually right around the time they were in Stillwater, right? Reed Southall. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I have, I have not. Who's, who's Reese Hall? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it just brought up like a really like old memory. I remember when they were still in Stillwater. I don't, I mean, it was my freshman year and it was a barn party, like who knows how far out of town. And I think Reed and them had just played somewhere. I mean, it was very fuzzy. I mean, a lot of my college memories are obviously very fuzzy, <laughs> but, and I just, I ran into him. We, and they were all there. It was an after party. And also, all of Southwest Oklahoma was there. I was like, God, I knew too many people in this barn. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Some random barn. And then I was talking to Reed, and yeah, it was just a great, it's a great memory I, that I don't really remember, but I know what happened. She, just, like, she was leading, she was leading up to, him, and then she's like, Yeah, I talked to him. <laughs> I did, but I don't really know what else. Yeah, it, it, all she has is like images in her head of like, <coughs> like flashes, probably. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Well, howdy, folks. Welcome down to Bad Brad's Barbecue. <laughs> hey, stop looking at Gus. Stop it. Stop it. All right, folks, you see here, Jack is trying to throw some cornhole, and he just can't get her done. I just cannot hit anything today. I see that, Jagger. Man, you gotta have some Bad Brad's. Play that crap in your hunger. Vernon always coming in clutch with the barbecue. Oh, yeah, look at that bite, folks. All right, Jagger, let's see it. Look at that, Brad no. Bad Brad's, where you can't help but be good. Like Jagger said, folks, Bad Brad's Barbecue, where it's good to be bad. Four, four thirty. <laughs> so. uh, you have another song for us? Sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, which one do I want to play? Um, this one is one of the newest songs that I wrote. Um, I don't really like to write love songs because uh, I tell people like you got to experience all that to write about it. <laughs> so I like to write songs that are my my friends have told me they're either about Jesus or really sweet like family songs or they're songs that basically just say like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no in between. <laughs> That's, That's what the my perfect, friends have the told perfect me. Spectrum the perfect spectrum right there. Mix. No, it's it's all in there. So this one is called uh, Liar Liar because I wanted to write. I like to write songs about people like to talk about you even though they don't even know you and they're not even part of your life. And it's just, I don't like those kind of people. So, this is what inspired that song. Mm -hmm. 
My name is entered rooms and my feet never will The devil was an angel too, such a hard to swallow pill I'll buy the road first chance to be a ghost in your town Never met a stranger, but that's how I will go down. How are you gonna sit there and spread your wildfire? I've heard I'm lonely, prowling like a wolf at night, talking over. I'm not that talented yet. How's the next verse go? I'm honestly curious how the next part goes. Do you ever have those parts where you're playing? How does the next part go? I have those moments so often and it's like not even funny how the next part goes. I bet you know my phone knows. <laughs> it happens all the time. With me. Ah, okay, got you. Here we go. <laughs> you keep putting on your show. Nobody falls in line. I got some to say to you, but you ain't worth my time. You got a one too many faces. Not a damn one pretty Your lies and twisted games You turn loose in this city I'll gladly put you in the ground Disrespectfully Apologies for you too Awesome. Yeah, it was fantastic. I, and I mean this as a... This is why you practice. <laughs> this is why you practice. Um, and don't take a week vacation. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again for coming on. We yeah, appreciate it. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Much love. Guys, you sounded so good. <laughs> thanks. Uh, so we now have a we don't have a crowd when we do our shows. We have an audience. Yes. <laughs> um, I mean this as a compliment. I, some people could probably take this as not a compliment if you're not a fan of her. But that I got a very much like early Miranda Lambert type yeah, vibe I from too. that song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's actually funny when I she's did like the I actually Oklahoma. hate Miranda. <laughs> <Lambert>. <laughs> no, I welcome selfies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we no, I do sing a lot of her, so I like a lot of her music. 
Um, when we did the Oklahoma Smoke Show before the Zach Bryan concert in Tulsa, um, we had timed it all out, and I was like, man, I was like, I can totally throw in one more song. And this song like wasn't finished yet, and so I just sat down with a friend of mine who had just got out of a relationship, and I was like, we gotta finish this song. So I paced back and forth in her apartment for like four or five hours. I was like, we have to finish this song. I was like, because it's gonna sound really awesome. Um, and so we did. I just I finished it like the same week of the show, and I said, "Hey, we're gonna do this. You're gonna play the harmonica." He's like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> that so that, that's like a new new song because yeah. w- when was that concert? It was like uh, June, August. Ju- it was August eleventh and twelfth. Oh, oh so, yeah. Okay. So it's like a little over a month, a month old, ago. probably. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Technical That's why you practice so. your new music. Yeah. Just because you wrote it doesn't mean you're going to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> even, even maybe like Gretchen Wilson type vibe from that too. Yeah. Or is she the one I'm thinking of? Is she the one that sang uh, Redneck, Redneck Woman? Woman. Yeah. yeah. A that lot of my like songs that are like that that I do write, where I like to just tell off, you know, toxic people <laughs> and tell them to get lost. They always tell me there are vibes between like Miranda Lambert and if if Miranda Lambert and Loretta Lynn got together. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, a good, that, yeah, that, that's that, a great that comparison. A good analogy. Yeah, that's yeah. what they tell me. Yeah, I think that's pretty good company. So <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, you mentioned earlier that you like you're come from a really like musical op. Would it be operatic? Is that that an the operatic background? Operatic. There we go. <laughs> operatic b- background. So, if you were to launch a career today in that kind of music, and you wanted to change your name, what would be like your alternate like name that you would use? <laughs> like your uh, alternate personality, I guess, or stage name. Ooh. Yeah, kind of, but kind of like how like Garth Brooks has like Chris Gaines, <laughs> like like what, what would be your Chris Gaines? We bring up Chris Gaines <laughs> oh, way too much. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I, would, I honestly don't know. I would probably have to bring out um, the Hispanic side of me and just use a very like Mexican name. I have no idea what it would be, but I'd pull off that for sure. Carlita. Car- <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who knows? Honestly, maybe I would just steal my grandma's name and be like Rosa or some Rosa or something. Hmm. Who knows? Carlita Rosa. <laughs> there, that's a name to pay attention. There we to. go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, your your shirt looks like um, Wyatt Flores' new album, next album art. That's what I, I ke- every time I look over at yeah. it, I keep seeing. It kind of has it has that vibe. A for sure. vintage. Grateful Dead tea. <clears throat> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Some Bob Weir. My uh, a good friend of mine that I used to work with. He owns a vintage store in Oklahoma City or hmm. in Yukon. Are, are yeah. you? So you have uh, the hookup, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, mean, I still had to pay full price for it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you a big Gr- Grateful Dead fan? Um, I wasn't until I saw this T-shirt. <laughs> I was just like, "That's really cute. I want that T-shirt. I'm not even gonna lie to you." Are, are you a golf player by any chance? I like to play. But I'm not. I'm not. I don't suck, but I'm also not great. <laughs> if I like to play, Here, here's a good nine hole six strings. <laughs> you and Adara will we'll, we'll go play a two, two v two scramble with you guys. Oh my gosh, please! And then have, have that would be play. good. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. So the last time I played golf actually was probably a couple of years ago on vacation. It was just me, my mom, and my dad. I had my own cart and my own ice chest of beer in the back. <laughs> And it was a great time. Another fuzzy memory. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my memories are fuzzy. <laughs> does it does it dare a play or are you just I hoping? have no idea. Okay. <laughs> we'll just, find just, out. Just, if yeah. hey, if I'm involved and I say, Hey, we're gonna do this and just talk about music and there's alcohol, she'll be like, All right, sweet, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> what time do I need to be there? Yeah. yeah. She's down for anything. Um I, I, have you guys ever thought about doing like a like Oklahoma like uh, like high women type group like that? We do have one. Sirens of Oklahoma. Uh, we Adara brought together um, me, her, Chrislyn Arthurs, and Kaylin Smith. Kaylin, Kaylin, I always get it wrong. Mm. I told you I'm really. Chrislyn, is she gonna be at? She, uh, she'll be at Arthurs. top of Oklahoma. Yes, Fest. that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes. Um, so, and we did a Sirens of Oklahoma down in Ardmore. 
Um, it's Adara, she's got really good connections there, and that's really close to where she lives. And it's just the four of us um, doing song swaps. And I'm trying to get a lot more places too. All of us are be like, hey, we do this thing because she got the idea from Trent and how they did like the boys from yeah. Oklahoma. And so we wanted to do a female version of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, that's, so that's awesome. What we're have you have you guys doing. ever um, thought about doing like music kind of like the Panhandlers does? Like you guys get together, write songs together, and sing? No, but of course we've like talked about it. Be like, yeah, that's so cool. But it's one thing said and actually doing it. And also finding free time for all four of us, there we especially go. Now, when we're scattered <coughs> all across the state. Now, now you guys know you'll, you'll have at least one listener that will go and, and t- <laughs> check out that. So like, make it two. Yeah, make it two. Yeah, there we go, two. <laughs> now, now, just go do it now. So there you go. So is it sirens? Is in like uh, tornado sirens, or am I ignorant? To no, something like there? a. Um, There's like yeah, they're like from the like mer- mermaids, kind of like a uh, the Odyssey. Uh, that, that's that's. A, I think I'm from like. Like the pirate yeah. perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're just like a mythical creature. I mean, if you, some people believe they're real. You know, I want to think mermaids are real, okay, but the yeah. nice ones. Give me a second. But they're, but yeah. like, How they're do you spell this? legend like, like is, oh. their legend, I think, I'm probably going to butcher it, but the shortest, easiest version is they would, like, when pirates were out at sea, they would yeah. sing them to drown them and eat them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we wouldn't do that, obviously. <laughs> But oh, your music is that good that, but that like, could But happen. they would seduce you with their singing, basically. Yeah. And um, their song. Uh, um, you guys probably got that. Yeah, I think I'm a nerd after them. I say this. But you the ever Odyssey. seen a Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Like this? Yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, it's basically just kind of like a legend, basically. Yeah, they're and not They're not. Real. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, I know they're not real, but I'm just saying, like, okay. But I think it's, like, originated from uh, Homer's uh, The Iliad and The Odyssey. Uh, I know you guys gonna think I'm weird no, I've, for knowing I've, this. I've read that. Yeah. So I, I think it's from that. <coughs> okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay. Now. I'm, I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad I could clarify in some way. <laughs> I know I was. I know I read that in high school, but I also I don't read. We have a book club <laughs> on the weekends. So we do. <laughs> so. we, we need to do a podcast with a book club. We just sit down. It's just we, <laughs> we, we we have a fire behind us. It's just two chairs, and we we have sweaters and uh, like glasses, even though we, we both don't need them. <laughs> we just take them off. Welcome. <laughs> Today's <Today's book>. after <laughs> midnight. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, thank you for coming out. Do you mind playing us one more song real quick to s- send us out? For sure. Will do. I'll play one that I'm going to remember really well. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. How about that? This one is called Back to You. Some people want to crawl back into your life, and you're just like, yeah, that's not going to happen. And that's what wrote this song. (laughs) (laughs) If I was to go back to you, there's a couple of things I wish you knew about me, myself, and I, and all my dreams. I love Jesus. So much he's never failed to help pick me up And all my friends are more like family The lights are burning in the sky Not always there, never goodbye Much like me and all my guarantees Just this once, I'd like it, you 
take my hand and make me happy Take me out dancing in the rain and kiss me softly Twirl me around, pull me close and wrap your arms around me Awesome. Thank you. Do you do, real quick, do you have any socials you'd li- like to plug for? Uh, it's at Carly Nash Music on everything. Perfect. For sure. Thank you so much <laughs> time. Say thank you so much for spending your uh, afternoon with us. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Love we'll, all we'll, the female representation. We may have to get something together with the nine holes and six strings yeah. with you and Adara, so. That'd be great. Honestly, I'm a grand old time when it comes to playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Thank you.